Hello everyone, and hopefully you're here to have a, a little tutorial on how to use the sound extension built by Deluxe Oz, the DOE sound extension with Sirenscape using Fantasy Grounds. So it's a pretty specific video. Um, try to make it reasonably short, but uh, there's been a lot of confusion with this great extension and kind of how to use it. So I'm specifically again going to be addressing how to use the chat sound functionality. So a couple things, make sure that you have downloaded the DOE base extension and the DOE sound extension. Uh, you have to have the base extension and obviously make sure they're both loaded um, or I should say um, you uh, you have them both checked and, and load them up before you launch Fantasy Grounds. Make sure you have Sirenscape. I have the ultimate license for Sirenscape, which gives me the fantasy and the sci-fi sound packs, but I just use the fantasy sound pack because you have to have the player open and the sci-fi and fantasy players are different. You can get that from uh, sirenscape.com and there actually is even a test um, subscription for free if you want to test it out. It only gives you some limited sound packs if I remember. I'm using Fantasy Grounds version 3.2.1 and it's important when you test this that you have to log in as GM or DM and an instance as a local host because the sound triggers have to cross over the internet to actually trigger. So it's important that you, um, you actually uh, have both of those loaded up or you will not hear the sounds. It'll look like everything's set up right, but you won't hear the sounds. So um, where do you get the sound extensions? So quickly... Uh, if you go out to the forum on Fantasy Grounds, Game System, 5e, Community Extensions, and then here are all the extensions you can get. I actually helped uh, create this 14-point font, which I love. It's big. Uh, and you click on here for Deluxe Oz's extension. See here in bold. And once you click on that, you're going to want to click on the link for the base extension and the sound extension and make sure you have this loaded. One other thing to make sure that you do on the front end as the GM, and uh, we shouldn't have to use the local host connection I have. Um, I do have it um, as a second instance, but right now I'm just in the DM version of Fantasy Grounds that I pulled up. But it's important that you go into your options setting and make sure that this sound, it's probably going to start selected to off. Make sure that's on. That will save you a lot of trouble. I had everything set up right, and I didn't click that on, and never, I never heard the sounds, and it really confused me. So, so once you launch Fantasy Grounds, you can go to the library and make sure that you do have your sound tab checked so it shows up on your right panel. Uh, this is an extension I have, so your buttons may not look like this, but you should see the sound extension. So, we're going to start by um, working on a bless spell. I want to create a trigger that whenever the effect bless is put on a character, that it uh, triggers a sound. So, let's open a sound. Um, you're going to see a number of tabs, put this down here, sound tab, setup, mini board, auto sound, and chat sound. We're focusing on chat sound today. Yours is going to be blank. Um, I need to take off. I already created bless. So let me take it off. But um, so yours is going to be blank. And then you're going to go down here at the bottom with this white slash. You're going to click that and click the plus sign. And now you have a new chat sound here. So I can close this just to make it cleaner. So now what you need to do is find the sound string. So I want bless. So I'm going to look in Sirenscape. So I'm going to open up my player and I've already done the search. But basically, when you first get in, you might be on any of these sound packs and that's fine. Then you can go up to the top left and I know that it's called blessing. So I'm just going to search for it. I'm going to open up the sound set that I want. Kira Female Cleric. Great. And one thing I've already done, so I'm going to turn it off again just to uh, show you how to do this right the first time, is when you first open this up, you're going to see all the sounds just like this. And you can click on them, and here's Blessing. And so you can hear the sound. But what you're going to want to do is down in the settings um, gear, you're going to click on that, and this window will pop up. And what you want to do is, is see this third-party app integration. You want to enable that and click OK. Now you'll see all these plus signs and we want to copy the string for blessing. So you can see that I've copied the link to the clipboard. So I'm going to go back to my DM version of Fantasy Grounds. Click on the sound string. So again, that middle line, Control V or however you want to right click and paste. So it looks like you're done, but you're not. 
you you need to make sure that this is populated down here and this little circle gets populated with a purple little uh, sound clef. So you need to hit the plus sign to kind of lock it in. Okay. Now you want to name it and I'm just going to name this bless. So you can see how it changes. You don't have to do this manually in here. You change it up here and it'll change this sound trigger to bless. Now we need to look for a trigger. This is where it's important. You want, and you can set it up however you want, depending on when you want the sound to trigger. I'm going to start by showing you what happens if we just type in a trigger bless. So again, this, this is reading anytime there's a, uh, the word bless that comes through in chat and it crosses the internet, so you have to have other people hooked up um, so that you are connecting, so that's why I have the second instance, the local host. So I'm gonna lock this back up, and I already have Gwydion open, but I don't have the bless spell. So make sure you have in the library your spells tab open. I've already searched for bless to cut to the chase here. I'm gonna drag that on my character sheet. Boom. Okay, one of the things I I really like to do for all of my effects and spells um, so I know what they're from is you can see how for bless it shows you what it, it's going to do it's going to be to the targets that I apply it to and here's the string that um, it's telling fantasy grounds what to do you know attack 1d4 save 1d4 so what's important about that if I go into the combat tracker which I've already opened I'm gonna control left click on Darvik guess I already had him now I've got him targeted now when I click effect you see how this comes across as just some generic effect as a GM or a DM I would not know what it, what is that from yeah, I'd have to go back and look it up so I don't like that so let me clear this out what I like to do is essentially hit the hourglass and right in front of the description here I'm gonna type in the word bless semicolon space all that tells is everything in front of the semicolon is just telling fantasy grounds hey this is just an explanation it's a note don't do anything with it it's not intended to code like an attack effect it's just a note so now when you look at it you see how it shows the bless attack so I'm gonna get rid of this effect on Darvik and now I'm going to I still have him targeted so let me click on this and it should trigger So in this case, it sees the word bless. Now, that's all fine and good, but what bothers me as a, as a DM is you can see that the turn indicator is on Gwydion. Well, once you move it down, oh, <laughs> it's another effect I have. Once I move it down to Darvik, every time, well, so every time it's Darvik's turn that this is on him, it's going to trigger the sound because it sees turn Darvik bless. And all we typed in was bless. I don't like that. Um, so let's go back up. I'm going to take this off him. I'm going to clear chat. So what I like to do is go back into this and, and open my sound string again. So I'm back into the chat sounds. I'm going to open up bless. And what I want to do is let's look again exactly... I want to see exactly what the what shows up in chat when I hit this. All right. So what I'm literally going to code is I'm going to type in, and it's case sensitive, so to make sure that you're typing it right. So effect space the little parenthetical bar and the apostrophe and bless. And again, you don't have to do the whole string. You don't have to, the brackets don't have to be closed. All it's doing is looking for every time it sees this entire string, just like it is here, it'll trigger. So I'm going to close that back up and I'll close it. I just like erasing this. You guys have a clean view. So now let's go back. Got Darvik targeted. I'm going to go back to my bless spell. I'm going to click on the effect. Beautiful, it played. So now, as a as a DM, I move the <laughs> move the combat tracker. That's my rage sound, and then now I move down to Darvik, and because it only says turn Darvik bless, and it does not say open that that string for you guys again, because it does not show effect and the bracket and bless, it doesn't trigger. So that's, that's how to set these up. Um, obviously, there's nuances uh, as you get into spells. Let's see if I can look at one for Hunter's Mark um, 
or even healing. Yeah, there's not a good example here. But um, you just need to make sure that if it's all caps, you use all caps. So it's very specific. And again, if you're testing this as a GM, make sure like I did, we didn't really look at it, but I did have a second instance open under localhost. So that way I knew that the sound, um, the chat was triggering across the internet and I knew it would work. And again, going back to my DM version, if you look in your sound settings, make sure, make sure, make sure this is turned on. It only has to be turned on for you. You do not have to have the players turn it on. And the players, if you're going to pipe this down, and that would be a whole other video that Deluxe Oz has done. If you're going to pipe this down, a TeamSpeak or a Discord, which I do, you you only have to have uh, the DM own the Sirenscape player. Um, there's other ways to do that, but I don't want to go into that on this video. So that's, that's it. I hope this is helpful. Um, I'm happy to do others if people like this video. And uh, I hope it uh, makes it easier to use and sheds a little bit of light on using the chat sound feature of this extension. Thanks, everyone.